Pittsburgh Steelers running back Jalen Warren says that the coaching staff is trying to get more sets with Najee Harris and himself on the field at the same time, bringing in new packages to the Steelers offense. So, the offseason training camp OTAs. That's usually the time where the coaching staff, especially the offensive ones, put in new plays, put in new formations to kind of get used to it, get more reps, so that when the actual season starts, the preseason, stuff like that, they're more better at the formations and better at the plays and the execution is at a high level. So, Jalen Warren, just recently, he was talking to the media and he said that Najee Harris and himself will be on the field more according to the coaching staff. Here's what he said. They have said they're planning to find ways to get us both on the field at the same time and just do different things with me. Najee is still the starter and whenever he needs a break is when I'll go in but we might mix things up. I just want to help the team any way I can. Whatever that takes, I'm willing to do. So, usually, if you're going to use two backs, they have to have different skill sets, or at least have multiple skill sets, where one or two could be willing to block for each other, and both running backs are willing to do that. Najee Harris is a good blocker, he's a big guy, and Jalen Warren, as we've seen, he's actually a fantastic blocker in the pass game and the run game. We've seen them put defenders on their backside multiple times last season, and his rookie season, he really showed out. And not only do you have to be able to block, you actually have to be able to run the ball and catch the ball, both running backs. And that's exactly what Najee Harris and Jalen Warren could both do. As we've seen, Najee Harris, first two seasons in the NFL, coming off college, thousand yards both and even the receptions his first year in the league he led the league in receptions for a running back so he could run the ball and he could catch the ball and same with Jalen Warren even though Jalen Warren didn't get that many opportunities to run the ball this past season when he did get those opportunities he made the most of it that's why he started getting more down the stretch of the year and not only can he run the ball he could catch the ball as well out of the two running backs when they, when they catch the ball, Jalen Warren last season made the most of his more than Najee Harris did. Yes, Najee Harris had that game winning touchdown, and towards the end of the season, his catching ability really started to stand out. But Jalen Warren is a person who could take it to the house on any given play because he has more explosiveness than Najee Harris. Jalen Warren is more of an explosive running back, fast running back, where Najee Harris is a wear you down type of running back where he gets better and better as the game goes on and wears down a defense. So they really have two different skill sets. And Jalen Warren, whose playing time generally increased throughout the 2022 season, finished his rookie year with 500 yards from scrimmage. He rushed for 379 yards on 77 attempts rushing with one touchdown and also caught 28 passes for another 214 yards. So, around the midpoint of the season is where the Steelers actually started using him more, and he put up those stats. Imagine if they actually started using him from the beginning of the year. He could have been as dominant, not as dominant because he had less playing time, but really a second punch to Najee Harris, and they could have used more two-back sets, or at least had more split carries between the two. And Najee Harris, he had a really good season as well. He really started off slowly, but towards the end of the season, he finished strong. He finished with 1,034 rushing yards, 7 touchdowns, and he also added in 229 receiving yards for another 3 touchdowns. So even though his efficiency towards the beginning of the season wasn't as great, he still finished strong, and like I said, towards the end of the season, he really started seeing his receiving ability take full form for the Steelers offense having the game winning touchdown and where Kenny Pickett would just dump it down to him late in games and he would make things happen and put on a game winning drive. So Najee Harris, Jalen Warren both being on the field at the same time it could really be imposing for the defense and really be scary for the opposing defense because not only can they run the ball with either of the two guys and they can really run it strong and run it fast they could also do play action off of that, do some screens, and even pass block and pl do play action out of it because both of them are willing blockers and really good blockers too. Jalen Warren's best asset, I believe, 
right last season was his blocking. He was coming in as a third down running back. In previous year, when Najee Harris was a rookie, he was really a one, two, three down back because he was the best pass blocking running back on the team. But as the season went on last year, the Steers would put Jalen Warren in on third down and give him his, those reps because they would want Najee Harris to take more breathers and they really started splitting carries towards a 60-40 split towards the end of the season with Najee Harris getting 60 and Jalen Warren getting 40 of the snaps. And Jalen Warren being able to take the load off Najee Harris will only do good as they've seen with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard down within Dallas Cowboys. That offense was unique because it was able to use any of the running backs, and both of them were effective. Yes, it's going to be hard, I believe, to get both running backs on the field at the same time. Yes, some plays, some formations, you could do it, but I believe it's going to be a hard thing to do because the Steers really have a unique wide receiver and tight end group and a lot of playmakers at those areas that if you're putting two running backs on the field at the same time, you're taking away another playmaker on the outside at tight end or wide receiver so it's gonna be really hard to do but Matt Canada he's gonna have a whole offense this season where he do whatever he wants if he wants to run the ball he has the guys to do that if he wants to pass the ball he has the guys to pass the ball and to pass block so this season should be much better for this year's offense and can he pick it going into year two he has much more playmakers on the team outside and inside so Jalen Warren, Najee Harris, this season should be a big season for both of them. But for Najee Harris specifically, his numbers might be down once again if it does go more to a 50-50 split. And I believe if the Steers start using Jalen Warren right off the beginning of the season, Jalen Warren's numbers could be matching Najee Harris if the 50-50 split does happen and both of them get on the field a lot this season. So with that being said, let me know down in the comments below. How do you feel about Jalen Warren's comments saying that the Pittsburgh Steelers plan on using both Najee Harris and Jalen Warren on the field at the same time? Do you believe they could be a one-two punch or really play off each other and expose defenses with both of them being on the field at the same time and being really unique at their position? Let me know, let me know down in the comments below. Before I end this video, I want to head into a different topic. I didn't want to make a single video on itself saying this contract, but Marcus Golden, as we know, the Pittsburgh Steelers signed him this week to be the edge number three outside linebacker for the Pittsburgh Steelers, backing up TJ Watts and Alex Highsmith. And now his contract was released, and it's a really good contract. Last year with the Cardinals, he made around 3.67 million, but he took a huge pay cut to be the Steelers' number three outside linebacker to join the team. According to Over the Cap, Gordon signed a one year deal and it totals out to be 1,317,000. That deal includes a minimum veteran base of 1,165,000 and a signing bonus of just. 152000 so it's a very good deal for a veteran benefit deal and the Steelers are getting a bargain with a guy coming in to be a backup and probably playing quite a lot too because as we all know TJ Watts, Alex Highsmith, they take some plays off to get breathers because they want to keep them fresh and injuries happen throughout the year so having a guy who's been productive in this league and has put up production with the Cardinals and other teams, having him on a veteran benefit deal around $1.3 million is very good compared to his last season, $3.6 million in Cardinals. So this deal for the Steelers, they're really going to bargain. And now let's see what he could produce on the field for the Pittsburgh Steelers this, this season as a number three outside linebacker. And hopefully he could even mentor Nick Herbig as well. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if the exterior's content, analysis, and reports. Like the video, turn on post notifications down below for the channel as well so you get notified whenever I post an exterior's video. I covered all of free agency, all of the draft, all of our signings, all of our trades. So if you want to see all the new guys' introductions to the team, they're on the channel, so go ahead and watch it. And in the coming days, I'm be posting a video about Kelvin Austin saying why I believe he's really going to take the next step for this year's offense 
and how good he's doing in OTAs. And I'm also going to make a video about the OTAs and the biggest storylines from week two of OTAs. So stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.